You know what time it is? It's time to pull the bed off this truck. At least we're going to try to. I can't guarantee it's going to get done. Can't even guarantee we're going to be able to do it. I've got my brother Tim here. He and I alone are going to attempt to unbolt, pull off the bed, and swap on the new one. So, what's involved with swapping out a bed? It's supposed to be pretty simple. You got your uh, gas tank right here. You got a clip right here that I know needs to come out. You got a little screw right here. I don't know if that needs to come out. A couple bolts up here. I don't know if they need to come out. I know that these two go to the door. So the only things I'm concerned about are these two, that one, and then this clip. Uh, aside from that, it should be pretty straightforward. Climbing underneath, we should have... Oh, shit. I just dropped my mic right on its face. Now, I probably should have waited to get this uh, Flowmaster exhaust installed until after the work was done. But, you know, it is what it is now. So, underneath the bed, we have a bolt right up there. Looks like we got another one underneath this wire loom right here. Up under here, there's bolt number two. And then the other two are going to be on the outside of the frame back here. And I can't even show you that from here. I'm not even going to try. Um, anyway, we got four bolts on each side. Same over here. You got one right there. You got another one up there. Forgive me if I'm smacking this thing. We're going to go ahead and probably remove this tire mount because it does not work. Um, I'd at least like to remove it and see if we can fix it. If not, we just need to get it replaced. Um, but that's pretty much it. Then the bed just comes off. We also have these shocks back here. Let's see if I can get in here. Uh, I need to replace these. These are easy. There's one bolt up top right there. There's another bolt on the bottom right here. Uh, these shocks come out. We need to ditch those because I'm going with air shocks. Um, I also got a little bit of wiring to do. I'm probably not going to cover all of this. We've got to hook up the new adapter for the trailer, the seven, uh, seven blade connector. Probably need some dielectric grease to help with all that. You know, there's a lot to do, but mainly I think in this video I want to focus on getting the bed off, so let's get to that. No, they go with the bed. Yeah, all the electrical goes together. Ready? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Still connected to something. Something's still connected down here. Or are we hitting the tire? I think we're hitting the tire as we're trying to go over it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's connected. I think we really, we are just running into the tire. What I would say, Tim, is with one hand towards the outer edge of the inside fender, the other hand underneath if you can reach it. And then sort of yeah we 
Okay, now that we've got it up, start lifting from towards the bumper. Okay, easy, wait. Take your little breath, because I think we're sitting on the tires. Let me know when you're, when you're good. Okay, slowly set it down. <sighs> Hot damn. All right, so I just pulled this bed off by myself. One handed, one person. Pulled this whole sucker off on my own. And he did a lot of he did a lot of watching um no no we pulled this sucker off together so if you ever wondered what it looks like without a bed well there you have it frame looks good which you know that's always nice to know after you buy a car and tear the bed off that you got a good frame underneath this is a perfect opportunity to uh change these shocks out since we've got the bed off, it's going to be a whole lot easier to get to the, uh, the shocks here. And we've got to install the air hoses for the air shocks. There's a new Flowmaster set up right there, single in, dual out. Um, so this is a good opportunity to put these new shocks in, get the air hoses uh, run alongside of the frame here, over to where you can easily access them, somewhere on the bumper or around the tow hitch area. Um, we've also got the uh, spare tire carriage it's kind of frozen up it's not working at the moment so even though i don't have one to replace it it's a good opportunity to go ahead and pull that out basically anything you want to do to this thing you should probably do now before you go and slap another bed on it but uh there she is guys really simple um one two and then three and four bolts on either side eight bolts total and there she is. About time to go get that one over there and put it on. All right, we're running out of daylight here. Um, but before we put the bed on, we wanted to install this. Uh, this is the valve, the Schrader valve for the air shocks, which I have routed through uh, a hole I drilled in the bumper. I've allowed it some extra slack for raising and lowering, running through the frame. Again, running through the frame. Over here, we have our T connector. This is our splitter that takes it from one line and runs to each individual shock, which I have followed the path of the brake line over here under the exhaust. I put a, uh, you know, my thing here, zip ties, love these things just to make sure it never comes over to the exhaust. Keep it out of the way, running straight into that, that shock over here. We have a similar setup. The valve is running, uh, the valve is on the other side got the the hose actually running around down this way attached to here which is like a, a vacuum line a, just a, a little vent tube for the rear differential this is tied down here so it's not going to move and i really couldn't be happier we had a small leak at first fixed it it was an o-ring gasket it wasn't sealed but now you can see the truck just bounces right back up the old shocks I don't know where the old shocks are, but the old shocks, we tried compressing them and they never extended again. So, so uh, we may have thrown them away already. The old shocks were absolutely shot. Now it's time to back this thing up over to the trailer and see if we can get this bed on.
All right, so it's a new day. We finished getting the bed on the Chevy 1500. So let's take a look. Now, before we go any further, obviously there's still more work to do. As you can see, we still have the wrinkled up fender and obviously we still have a wrinkled up door so we do need to get this door replaced um, that's on the agenda today for a new video i have not sourced another fender yet partly because i'm not overly concerned with this one little dent here um, if the dent wasn't in the middle of where this like body line is right here i, I would just have it fixed but um, there's a dent here scrapes here scrapes here just going to replace it eventually we are going to replace the hood it's got a lot of uh dings where it looks like someone just hit the hell out of it with something i don't know what it is but uh moving on to the bed i do want to pull these off i'm probably just going to get my heat gun really heat these up pull these off i kind of like them but since i don't have any of these for the other side of the vehicle probably just going to pull them off um the bed is not 100% perfect, but it was only 600 bucks. We've got a few little dings. It's probably hard to pick up on camera, but I'm sure you can see. Maybe not. Well, anyway, it's got a few little dings, but let's be real here. This is an 03 truck, all right? I don't think it's supposed to have a perfect body. It's not a show vehicle, it's just an old Chevy truck. I just want it to look decent, that's all. And uh, they got the new tail lights in. They're a little, I got a little bit of dust all over them. We put the new tailgate on. I like where it's, I like the way it says Chevrolet right there. So I went ahead and swapped out the old one. We'll probably put a bed liner in it to really help clean all that up, make it look a lot better. And obviously we got to get the, the markings off of it from the salvage yard the bed has a little damage right here nothing too significant you can see it's got a little bit of a dent right here in this area and it's got a scrape going across it I, I'm not really concerned about that you know not really this side of the truck looks you know pretty damn good pretty damn good we've got a couple little dings probably difficult to pick up we got one here there's another couple over here it's not perfect that's okay. I just want it to look really good, not perfect. So what's left? The uh, we're probably gonna we're probably gonna replace that door today. I'm gonna try to source a color match fender hood, and I want to get this bumper replaced. Um, I know it's not a big deal, but it's annoying the hell out of me. Um, this part down here is just really loose. You can see it's been dinged pretty good right here. Maybe that was from the forklift. I hate those forklifts, but uh, the bumpers, the bumpers got to be replaced. You can see bumper doesn't quite line up. You can see how there's a very small gap right here. And you've got a big gap over here. Uh, I, I don't like that at all. And then on this side, you've got a, a major gap, like huge all the way and i don't like that either um so that's going to be about it today we're going to try to replace that door um hopefully we can replace the front shocks we did fix the uh what is this thing called right here <laughs> this uh carriage the spare tire carriage we actually fixed that so we don't have to replace it so that's good all we got to do is go source a spare tire i'm thinking about getting a uh What's it called? A tonneau cover? A uh, hard black bed cover for this? I think that'd make it look kind of slick. <laughs> Damn. Excuse me. So, gotta hit the salvage yard. Maybe I'll get lucky. Find a fender, a hood, and a bumper while I'm there. And then that's gonna be about it. Um, after that, I'm pretty much done with this truck other than probably putting a custom system in it. Touch screen, you know, uh, stereo, and probably a couple 12s in the back behind the seats. So that's going to wrap it up for the video, guys. We have an auction starting like immediately, so I got to get out of here. Uh, do me a favor. If you like the content, give this video a big thumbs up. If you dislike the content, give it a thumbs up anyway. 
Um, don't forget to comment below. I don't get to answer them all the time, but I definitely read your comments, so please leave me a comment. Like the video, subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell icon so you can get uh, updates on uh, future videos that I release. Right here, I'm just showing you the old bed and the door we're going to replace. Nothing too important here. Um, but I do have to go. Obviously, this is a voiceover because I lost some audio. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to get to this auction. Let's see if we can win a couple things today. Stay tuned for all that. Stay safe out there, and I will catch you in the next one.